Here's a cool Illustrator tutorial all about how to use blends and vector graphics. Right, we're in Illustrator. Uh, to start with, we'll just draw us a few basic shapes. We'll do an ellipse, um, we'll duplicate it. You can see what we're doing here is we're using basic shapes to create a complicated shape by building building it up and using our Pathfinder tools. So I'm um, just get these to about the right angle. Yep. Um, I'll draw another one. Right. And we'll just line these edges up like this. These are just simple ellipses. Okay, it's a bit flat on the top. Line that up there, we'll stretch it up. Right, it's good for a start. We'll select all three and we'll just join them into one. Expand. Now we'll get our direct selection tool and you'll because you'll see that we've got a bit of a bump here, so I'll just straighten out that bump. Yeah, about there. And on the other side. And that's sort of pretty much an apple shape, okay? Um, I could have drawn that uh, freehand, but I think it's a lot quicker and it's a lot more symmetrical to have drawn it just using ellipses. The lines are much better, and I'm happy with that. Now, we need to draw a few more lines. We'll start off, we'll do another ellipse there. We'll duplicate it make a smaller one and we'll just bring this one up here overlapping it like so right uh, for the next thing we will use our pen tool and we're going to draw a draw a shape now this is the shadow shape so we want it sort of intersecting most of the apple shape like this and off and then we join the line up around the outside, it doesn't matter what we do out there, it's just a matter of so long as it's off the apple. That's one. We need to do another one of those a little bit closer. So we'll just draw that around here like this. And again we'll just make sure that that object intersects the apple doesn't recross it. Right. Now our third set we'll do up in the corner. We'll get our ellipse tool again. Trusty old ellipse. Draw an ellipse. And we'll just rotate that. Get it into position. Sort of roughly there. Don't really want to overlap that one. Um, rotate it, hang on, do it again, rotate it a bit and then I'll get my direct selection tool so that I can click on the nodes and I'll just just move them like that. We want that to be just inside there, we don't want to overlap this other one about there, that's cool. Once again I could have drawn that um, individually, but I'd rather use the ellipse. We duplicate that, shrink it, and stick the highlight about there. Okay, now a lot of these paths we're going to need more than one of. One of the easiest ways to duplicate a path exactly over top is to hold down the Alt key, click on the path, hold down the Alt key, and hit one of the nudge arrows. And when you do that, you get another copy one nudge up. You nudge it back down and you've now got two, see? I'll undo that, put it back. I need three of these, so we'll do that again. Alt key, nudge, nudge back down. Okay, I've now got three apple shapes. Um, that's essential because we're going to be losing some of those. Right, click on the top one 
and the outside one of these shapes and we'll come down to intersect and expand All right. we'll do it again with the next apple and this other shape intersect expand done we need to do the same as we did with the apple with this top ellipse here okay if we do nudge alt there we go look at that we've now got two of those with the top one selected select that one there and we intersect again expand and you can see we've now got two objects that one and that one we've got these two here and the other two over there okay it's time to color in our apple bring the swatches on here so you can see um, I'm, a, I'm a great fan of green apples but in this case we're going to make our apple red just plain red for that part plain red for that part plain red for that part and right we'll make ourselves that we need a, a lighter version which we'll bring down a bit there that's that's I mean a very light version of red is actually pink but that's okay we'll have our pink version the highlight there will be that pink color All right. we now need a much darker red so we'll bring our red back and we'll add some black and we'll come up to sort of a nice dark red add that to our thing and you'll see because I had my highlight selected it's actually changed that color to that color but we'll just do these others here first right our back color should also be red and we're ready to go whoops there we go I've just fixed the um, the highlight color now we need to get our blend tool going I'll bring this on here click on the blend tool there we click that one to that one all right and we'll just get rid of the outline so you can see what it looks like there we go we've got a highlight can you see okay blend tool again that one to that one get rid of our outline that one whoops hang on I needed to deselect that first you can see we've got our hole in the top of the apple blend tool that one to that one get rid of the outlines that's cool there's our apple you can see what we're doing with the blends we are creating a shade going from the original color to the other color that we want we'll just lose the outline on the apple here there's an awful lot more we can do with this and there will be more videos coming up to show you what, where we can go from here for a high resolution, fully downloadable version of this video, visit theelectricartist.com. And to learn more about how to do this sort of thing, visit learncomputergraphics.com. I'll see you there.